everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game No One Survived, and we're now Season 3 and Episode 57. And guess what? Uh, it's kind of an appropriate sort of time of the year in the game, weather-wise. Because guess what we're going to do today? We're going to make a new version of this. The lovely Laura put something on a comment saying about the reindeer cart. And I was just thinking, yeah, it's just a statue. It's a kind of a... A fixed kind of thing. Uh, no, it's not. Um, apparently, you can use it like a cart. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make one of them. Now, I, d I didn't realise it's actually in here anyway. I think I did see it at one point and didn't pay too much attention. But I just thought, oh, it's probably just a statuey thing I'll just put somewhere. But it's an actual trailer. How cool is that? So anyway, we've got to go get all the bits and pieces. So 15. Planks, uh, eight advanced parts, fine fabric, okay. Alright, we should be able to do that, I think. Um, well, after the episode where we got a few more advanced parts, have a look at that. Holy dooly drev. Yeah, I know. It's, it's um, yeah, quite amazing to look in there and see that many advanced parts, but um, yeah, I'm quite chuffed. Got heaps of fabric. Let's see. The fine fabric, look at that, got over 100. Can I just split... whoops, wow. I'm splitting off five, and putting them back in there, and then we've got to get some planks going. I don't... did I have... I think I might have had some going in here. Oh, there you go. I had previously had some. We still have to find the blueprint. Um, hang on, what was the blueprint? I'll have to have a look. There was something I needed... Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> That's a shocking memory, Drew. Who are you? There you go, look at that! How cool is that? Probably, well, wouldn't get in the way of the car. Oh, actually, maybe just put it over here. There you go. Ta da! Take away my little hammer. Oh, it is the same. Oh, it is! Oh, look at that. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually, hang on. Hang on a second. I want to compare something. Just do the normal little thing where you stop and let go of it. Yeah, cool. Uh, use it. Is it any bigger than the other one? Uh, oh no, they're about the same size. Okay. How cool is that? There you go, Laura. There's your, there's your little Christmassy cart thing. Reindeer cart. That is pretty cool. Yeah, cute little cart. Looks like it's kind of Christmassy colours plus the it's almost goldy looking look to it. Uh, pretty cool. Alright, got another cart. Very cool. Thanks, Laura. Alright, well, um, what was the other thing? Oh, I was trying to remember what it was. The blueprints. What was the blueprint? Oh, because we were trying to make something. Hang, hang on, hang on. It was back to... No, it wasn't, wasn't actually in there. It was back in here, wasn't it? I can click on it. In technology, it was the windmill, or the the wind turbine. That's what it was. I still don't have a blueprint for a wind turbine. They, yeah, that's right. Uh, but that's right, we went to the motel and there was just a massive number of blueprints on the second level. The problem is... Yeah, the problem is they won't respawn for a few days. Hang on a second, hang on a second. There was another motel up the road a bit further, wasn't there? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going up there. Alright, I'm going to have to get kitted out. Let's have a look. Um, I need gun oil, because I just realised my gun's a bit sad. So we're going to drop that one in there, maintain it. Okay, we only needed one. Actually, I should take one and put it in the car. You know that? Um, and then ammo-wise, we need a little bit more... Do you know what? We we do need to revisit the um, police stations again, I think. I think we're well overdue for another rumble in the jungle with our little uh, police officer guys. Because, um, yeah, we could get some more ammo. Don't necessarily need more guns, but definitely more ammo. Um, hang on a sec. Before I go, 
Oh, yeah, and a big thanks to Gary, too. Gary was mentioning about the the canning machine. What happened to me? I totally forgot. Um, I was going to build a, a look lookout tower here. I'm just wondering if... You know, I, I have to have a staircase that goes up, but in here... Um, maybe I should put the canning machine in here and some more um, storage and stuff, because like Gary was saying, it needs an, an aluminium ingot per canning process, so... No way. Last episode, probably half a day, a day ago, that was 36.1. So it does deteriorate, but so slowly. That That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I love I love it, actually. Um, hang on a second. Just let me poke my head down here where the batteries are. Uh, yeah, no, it's not doing much. Look, 193. It's not really chewing away too much at all. And they're off at the moment. Might have a quick squeeze at that when we come back, I think. Um, okay, let's throw the gun oil in the car. I'm going to go down to the, um, where should I put it? Just down there. I went upstairs to get food, for crying out loud, Trev. Forget your head if it wasn't screwed on. Look, hang on. Just grab some tucker. Uh, we'll do that one to give us a buff. How far away are we from full? Eh, not too bad, I suppose. That one's okay. That one's not too bad. I just want to drop a couple in the car. Yeah, why don't we do that? Go to the other motel. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of curious now. Cool, cool, cool. Let's throw those two in there. Hop in the brum brum. Don't damage either of the carts. And now we're going to go for a slide. <laughs> The only problem, oh, I mean, this, you know, we don't get snow where we live in Australia, but, um, yeah, I guess you guys are going like, well, you don't, can't see the roads either. You just have to go, there's a road somewhere down there in front of you, but it's obviously between where you see the trees, but. I've heard of you guys in areas, especially the US and that, and Europe and whatnot, that have snow, snow plows, and then you kind of have to plow the snow out of the way. And you occasionally hit something that you don't, you can't see underground. That that would be a bit annoying, I can imagine. Here in Australia, yeah, we just get all the flooding rains and the storms and cyclones and all that kind of jazz. And then occasionally the heat waves and don't get too many. Um, we get the occasional bad, really severe storm and cyclonic weather and a few tornadoes, localised tornadoes, but not many, not like the US gets. And we do occasionally get an earthquake, but not very often. But snow, yeah, there's snow in Australia, but, you know, only a small percentage of Australia has the snow, so... Anyway. Me, personally, nah, not where I am. No snow. Too hot. Too humid. Alright, so where's this um, motel? It's just up here. See you guys, sorry, not staying around. I'm going past here to the next motel. Which is just... Where is it? Up here. I'm trying to figure out where to park the car. Ah, uh, that's right, there could technically be a BFZ around. Oh, that's right, there was one in the car park before, wasn't there? still here. Let's have a look. Oh, I've already woken up somebody. <laughs> She's a bit speedy. I'm probably going to wake up a few other people in a sec too, actually. I'm sorry, but none today. Now... There's a flying zombie. Yeah, I'd rather be in here without the BFC, but he might show up. So let's get her attention, and let's get this one's attention. You can come a bit closer, that would actually be pretty good. Are you running at me? You're running at me! No BFC? That would be really good if there wasn't, this, this time around. Ah, oh, crap. Just as I spoke. Pete's sake. Listen, big fella. 
Oh man, he's a bit hard to hit today. You know what, instead of wasting so much ammo, I don't think there's anyone else here. Let's bring him to me. <laughs> Where's he going for a swim? No, no, not the pool. Oi, ding back. Now he's kind of on a bit more on t No, oh, jeez. I thought he's got me now. No, he's still looking for the pool. Just get out of the pool area. Is he actually in the pool? Who, who else is coming? Ah, oh, look. It's the last thing I want to deal with is another zombie while I'm dealing with the big guy. Where's he gone now? Where on earth is he gone? Oh, he's way, way over there. Look! You knucklehead. Oh my goodness me. I, I can't, I can't relax and forage around for stuff when he's, um, doing that. Come on, it's an open field. Let me just get rid of this police officer. Sorry, sir. Are you gonna come this way or not? <laughs> I've lost everybody in my vicinity. Here he comes. Now that's better. Come on, you need to be a little bit redder than you have been. I'm gonna run out of ammo soon, Trev. Whoops. Oh jeez, he does... He does tend to, um... <laughs> show me your teeth. Ah, oh, what? Very angry. Is there another zombie? No? Give me that, give me the big teeth. Look at the big teeth. Ugh, honestly. This is, I think, actually the other gun. I honestly thought that went straight through his head. Alright. Ah, uh, you know, just want to get up. Oh, actually, I don't know. Is this the same sort of motel? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. This could be a bit different. Uh, look, just because I don't really know for certain... Yeah, okay. Gotta make sure this is reloaded. I was thinking, oh, I might start on the second level. How's that? I'll just see. Uh, okay, so we're just looking for blueprints, though. Yeah, this is a different hotel, though, isn't it? Or motel. That's still good food, I might as well eat that. Um, no, that's pretty much cactus. I should be throwing them out but at the moment. Show me the blueprints, guys. Show me the blueprints. Shirts. More clothes. Nothing. Wouldn't imagine there's going to be blueprints in here, but... Actually, I do need a drink. There you go. It won't fill me up entirely, but, you know. Actually, I just realised I should be filling this up a little bit more. I mean, it's always a good thing to be able to get some of the zombie gear, so... There you go, we'll pile all that up in there. Alrighty, I don't think I need to look in there. Can I squeeze in there? Yeah. Uh, I'm not... Oh, yes, I am a bit damaged. Alright, use a free ointment then. There you go. Cool. Done skis. This one? Blueprints? No, there's plenty of books. What about in here? There's two drawers. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I need to throw those out. Is that the one I just did, or is that the... Which one didn't I see? Oh, it's the bottom one. Ooh. Okay, well... Let's just throw that out then. Next! No, it's not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It's this one. And hopefully none of these are alarmed either. Ooh. It's a nice little piece of food. I, mm, I'm not really here to collect the food, to be honest, but if they want to throw some freebies my way. Plenty of medication. Yeah, see, it's not the same. There's lots of books. 
I can't remember there being blueprints in here. That other motel was amazing. Well, in the end it was. Um, pretty certain this thing doesn't have anything, does it? Same thing again. I'm probably going to get too much food in the end. No, nothing there. This is probably the backpacks all closed again. There's an army here and there. More books. Yeah, I can't remember. I was a bit shocked actually how much. Um, do I need the dog food? Yeah. Take it, I suppose. Again, it's one of those things where you go, should I just empty the whole lot? Maybe. I think I'm just repeating and rinsing the same thing here. Although, see, that's different. A whole bunch of headlamps. More bookies. Wow, it's a lot of books. Clothes or backpacks. That's clothes, that's backpacks. A little bit of extra food. Unfortunately, not going to help. Yeah, there's a fair bit of medical stuff in here too, actually, when you think about it. Can I just get the, the button to search? That would be good. Wow. There's a zombie out there. Now this thing always had um, the military bag in it. One at one of these guys. So clothes. There's the military bag or the yellow bag. More clothes. Actually, there was food on the ground here. How good was the food, though? <laughs> Need you ask? Pretty crappy, Drev. Pretty crappy. Well, when you think about it, it's like, you can't just say go to the motel and get stuff, because it does actually vary. Oh, I will take all of that, though. See what I mean? Like, that's that's a different drawer. It's got different stuff in, so maybe it is just keep working our way through these. See if we can find one with a whole stash of um, blueprints. I don't think the little bar fridges are going to have anything in there but drinks, though, Trev. Kinda makes sense. More health stuff. More bookies. Oh wow. Ooh. Free water. Uh, maybe I just top off my hunger with that one, because I think that's gonna do fatigue, isn't it? Oh well, it did it did ten. It did ten. Oh, for some reason then, I just thought all of a sudden there was another BFC just here. I went, oh, hang on. Let me take care of the big guy again. Food. Yeah, I've kind of got to take the water, don't I? He's full. Well, my own ones are pretty full. Well, that's good. Ooh. Uh, I suppose I should take them. There'll be a point when I'll have to come back and I'll go, oh, look, if I only had a taken all that gear out, I would have had respawn loot in them. Wasn't it April in the comments was telling me about that? Like, just a reminder, you need to kind of empty some of these guys out, otherwise you're, gonna, you're not going to have all the good stuff reappear, so... I'll try to do it. It's a little bit time-consuming, though. That's the only problem. But, I guess it helps you for later on. And see, the same thing again. Everyone keeps telling me about the Take All button, and I'm like, keep forgetting to use it. I, I kind of... I should just go, yep, I need all of that Take All. Rather than being so picky, I guess. I need another 20 water, so... I might as well just consume one of those guys. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so I've done everything in this room. Alright. Next. This will just be clothes, won't it? Well, that's a backpack one. Clothes one. Goes to show, though, there's a fair bit of... Oh, these, see, these, bed, these rooms are kind of, like, reversed. Or mirrored. Oh, my 
goodness. That's pretty cool, though. This is like going to the police station, really. Oh, man. Where did you come from? What's wrong with your legs? Hang on. Just let me poke my head out. No? No. I, I'm not kind of I'm a bit surprised that he showed up, but... He might... Yeah, I don't know. He might have been downstairs or something. Which went? Where did I get up to? Was it here? Headlamps... Oh, man... Oh, I'm just going to consume it. I, I don't really need to. But I'm kind of running out of space, too. I suppose I'm not going to be able to fit blueprints in much anyway. Books... Does the police station have blueprints? I think it might. Just thinking that's another place I should be going. Well, I'm doing pretty well here for, um, for ammo. It's been a bit of a surprise. Health's n never a problem in here. Here he is. Books, books and books. I think I got stuff from him. Next room. That one has food again. Should be emptying it, but... See, that's a pretty big chunk of ammo. I don't really need the um, that many gun oils. Hmm. Actually, thirty. Oh, I had those ones on me. I probably picked up about seventy or eighty um, seven six two ammo. Another couple of bags, more clothes, I suppose. Yep. Oh, can't leave Heather's smokes behind. Let's see... More boogies? There's a lot of books. Can I fit the water in? I can. Oh my goodness, there's some good good amounts of food in here, hey? Uh, I'm really tempted to leave the cooking pot behind. I might, I might end up doing that. Yeah, some decent... Um, can I just swap that? Put uh, that in its place down there. Yep, cool. So how far off are we? S oh man, he's angry. He's angry at me being on his hotel. He must be the guy that you need to go see about registering or something. What the crap are you doing? So there's like one more room on the top here I should be coming up and having a look at. Are you coming up the staircase or are you just going to be a goose? Or are you going to get yourself stuck under the staircase? There he is. Come this way, come this way. Uh, that was a bit accidental, guys. I didn't really mean to shoot him where I did, but... It's just where the cursor went, right? Alright, so we've done pretty much the top level. It'd be funny if we actually went to the bottom level and found, um... Were these here before? I think they might have added those in. I can't remember them being there. Um, yeah, you never know. The bottom level might actually have, um, blueprints. Have to take the bag back, swap over, and then we'll go and have a look. Even if we just look through a couple of, um, a couple of rooms. Alright, dude, I know you're really puffing here, but it's important that we just keep going. That one, back, oh, hang on. Hang on, I forgot. My bad. You do actually need some extra ammo with you, just in case, Trip. Look at that, I've got a, a whole line of that again. Man, that's pretty good. Alright, back we go. Oh, I'm not going to worry about that top room. We'll start here at the bottom and just see. I have a sneaky feeling the rooms are still going to be the same. So, not that one, not that one we get? No, not the end one, not that one. We'll start here. Yeah, I've got a feeling they're all going to be the same. Medical. More food and water. That one's actually not bad, is it? Hmm. The rest of this is just throwable stuff. Pity there wasn't another button that just said drop all. Or pile them up at the door, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I suppose. 
that one maybe. The rest of this just gonna throw it out on the floor again. Just to, I'm, a, I'm a messy hotel room visitor, I guess. Those two. I'll consume it. I just because I just realised my buff's not there. Yeah, no, I won't worry about any of that. Yeah, so we haven't found one blueprint. Close, but at least we got the rain reindeer cart right. At least we did that. Um, yeah, so I've got to remember then that it looks a lot like this hotel is not a great place to get blueprints or motel, whatever you want to call it. So there's one room on the bottom. Let's do another one. Yeah, it's got it's got the same sort of furniture. So it's kind of apart from a few little changes. Um, oh man. I'm not going to worry about it, it's going to take me too long. Holy dirly Trev. These are the ones that I should be trying to grab. Oh man. Although, that's the problem though, if you don't, um, if you don't pick it up, it might not respawn anything. And it is ammo after all. I don't think any of these are going to have blueprints in, probably wasted my time looking through them. And I think these all just have books. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <gasps> You're kidding! There was one at the bottom where the books were. I almost... Oh, my goodness. That's it. That's what we're looking for. You have got to be kidding me. Right at the very end of the episode, I find it. Oh, my goodness. Guess who's chuffed? I'm chuffed, people. Trev Dog's chuffed. <laughs> very excited. These guys aren't really excited, but... I am. I got it. I finally got it. How's that, Jimmy? I finally got to make it. Well, I haven't made it yet, but... We're going home. Because we've managed to get the wind... Oh, how about that? So it was actually in amongst some books, and I almost... I almost stopped searching. Well, there you go, people. It, it wasn't the motel that I thought it was going to be in, it's one where I'd, you just do a whole bunch of searching, and it was, where was it, about a third of the way along on the bottom level or something, I mean, it's got to be a bit random, I guess, so it may not be there for everyone else, but there you go, we've got our wind turbine blueprint, which is absolutely awesome, I don't think it's going to need much else to make it, or to, to learn it, I should say, but, um, you know, in winter, that's what we should be doing, making a few of them in winter so we're not relying on the solar panels then. Just got to watch where you go on there, Trev. Even though you don't have a snow plough on the front, just make sure you're on the road and not going into the trees. Oh, I can't believe that. That is so cool. How cool, how cool, how cool. So I'll get home and... Uh, have a look at what else we need ingredients wise to make to just ensure that we can make it and then off camera I might put up a couple you're heading kind of off-road there Petra because um, I'm pretty certain when I did have a look at the ingredients for making the wind turbines they weren't that expensive and I should I should really have everything that's cool too, I could put a couple of wind turbines up on the horde base, would be pretty good. Anyway, let's pop the car in the garage without stacking it. Which we almost did. Don't hit the reindeer cart, whatever you do. So, what was it again? It said... Um, four electrical wire, four electronic components. So that is going to be pretty easy to do. We'll just skedaddle down here. Grab five wire, grab six of them, go back to it and just learn the thing. Ta-da! Okie dokie. So, we can at least put a blueprint up. Let, let's do that. We'll see what we need to put on it. So, where are we going to put it? It has to be out here somewhere. I wonder if we can put one... I, I would imagine it's not going to make too much difference here. Uh, where 
furniture is it? It's not outdoor. Furniture, probably workshop, yep. Uh, oh yeah, there is a bit to it. And it does need a motor. Dope. Oh, is that what it looks like? Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Actually, it would look better if it was kind of facing that way, right? Like that. Should I just, um... Can you... One wants to go that way, though. Doesn't it look better if it's kind of like that? So that's too close. Is that in a line? That That's in a line. Maybe just put two like that for the time being, and then um, fill them in and put a couple of more solar panels in, I think. Okay. I'll, I'll work on this off camera. That shouldn't be too hard for me to fill all that in. And we'll, we'll see how they go. Alright, just, just before I finish the episode, let's have another quick look at the freezer. So, 36.0, still 36.0. Um, how about the battery tables? It was 193 or something, wasn't it? 192.1, so it's not really dropping down that much, but, it, but it's true. Um, it would be handy to have the wind turbines up and running for next episode, is assuming it's still winter, and then just see how they manage to bring the power back up to full again. Yeah, I reckon that pre sounds pretty cool. Alright, I'll look out here at Laura's um, reindeer cart. <laughs> Um, as we say goodbye. Yeah, so I'll leave the episode here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. I certainly did by finding that wind turbine blueprint, but anyway. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, you can super help the channel out by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright, everyone. Thanks so much. Cheers.